today I want to talk about what is known as CBC and the way forward Kiangalia mambo ya CBC and I just want to talk the truth about CBC and what I head into I want to talk the truth and say if you look at this thing that is being implemented for sure most learners are going to lose but as a parent i want to assist you cbc is done in grade from grade one let's say nursery baby care in some extent of which it's not that that kind of taken seriously in baby care and class one but we move to from grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four. We can see the seriousness of grade, uh, the seriousness of CBC up to grade five, and that's why I want you to tell the truth about CBC and how things are done. And for sure, I've not been involved in public schools most of the times, but I've interacted with the teachers from public schools, and for sure, most of the public pupils are losing the same same thing to private sector am i saying this i'm saying this because of the pain of a child i'm not against this system of cbc but let's talk the truth about this system if you are a parent and you are sure and you are double sure and you know that your child cannot be able to read allow me to take this mask off your child cannot be able to read a passage either in Kiswahili or in English you are losing saying being cheated that my child is good in games, my child is good in this, my child is good in this, you are being cheated. That's the truth, that's the fact. A child should be good in his talents, but at the same time, he or she should be able to communicate. This is a bare fact, not a lie. And that's why I'm saying, you should at least take time as a parent, go visit a teacher in any subject because all subjects are being tested. And for your fact, and I want you to know this for fact, it's not all about assessment like you think. The assessment that is taking place is the 8444 system. Sorry, 8444 system. That's the system that, that is the, what is going on. They are coming here bringing what is known as NEC exams for CBC, national exams for CBC, but the fact is, those who are clever remain to be clever. But in most cases, are those people who, whose parents keep or they put effort in their pupils. Understand there is a national examination that is coming soon. And I'm saying this without fear. You will be told that your pupil passed, your child passed as a parent. And that's so far according to the how they want that thing to be assessed. But in some situations, your child is going to lose a lot. I don't understand how you can take a child who cannot be able to add and subtract while he or she is still in grade five. Too painful. A child who is unable to multiply, divide, still in grade 5, simple arithmetic. I don't understand. Some systems that are not working. I've been in this field since CBC started. And I've been involved in many activities. And that's why I must tell the truth. I don't understand why. These books that are bringing to us, textbooks, provider, providing us with links, 
that we should google of course private sector are good we have wi-fi we have everything we can google and uh let's for a minute leave alone those countries uh those counties such as marsabit county that don't have access to internet but when we google the information that you are getting the information that you are supposed to give these pupils is beyond pupils learners in my next episode i'm going to show you some of the books that i've written Re writing a book attending like five lessons but i've repeated the same thing it's too painful nothing is going on so i would like to advise parents let me go straight to the point Ensure your kid, if he or she is in grade five, knows simple arithmetics. Ensure a child knows how to read and write. That is Kiswahili and English. Ensure all these. Ensure your child is well groomed. And ensure your child takes assessments of which these assessments are changing to ordinary exams because things are not done in the right way and if cbc is the right in the right way of which the government is not supporting us we could be well but according to what i have seen and according to what is the trend is we are moving back to eight four four So let's meet in my next episode so that you can be able to see how can you be able to know whether your child is getting something from CBC. Whether you should retain your child in that school, he or she is, is or there is any progress in your child. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching. Kindly watch new Vimo and subscribe. Have a nice time.